Okay, we're going to show you how to create this nice little green circle at the end of your cursor. So it's easy to follow if you're doing tutorials or any type of uh, movie creating that you would like to follow your cursor. So let's go to Google and type in Real World Cursor Editor. Click Search. <clears throat> It'll be the, close to the top here. You'll see it. RWDesigner.com Cursor Maker. Okay. Then select, click download. Click download. You'll see it's downloading. <clears throat> and once it downloads, as you can see, I've done it a few times. Go ahead and double click and run it. Once you run it, it will install. Once it installs, open it. Open the program. <clears throat> real-world cursor editor. It may be on your desktop icon. You just have to find it where you downloaded it. See if you have an, an icon to open it. Then you want to go create then a new mouse cursor. Double-click that. Very simple. Then you'll go up here. You select the make arrow shape. Double-click that. Then you click OK. Now you want to come over to this area, <clears throat> to the move X. Sometimes it may have been transform. Just select the move and select this area and move it over here like so. Okay, now let's go over to this part and select the eclipse. And we'll go, just get a, an idea just somewhere over here. Just select a nice little area. Okay, <clears throat> looks good. Now I'm going to go over and select this green color there. Now we want it to be transparent, semi transparent, so you can still see the, the arrow from your cursor, but you also want it to highlight. So it's kind of a medium, you know, whatever you like, actually, if you want it, you know, if you want it dark enough to see, but you kind of want to see your cursor through it also. <clears throat> Once that's done, then you come over and select this cursor hotspot tool. Select it and get down the tip of your cursor and you put it there. You come over here in your test area and you'll see what it looks like. See there? So it means it's working. <clears throat> then you go File, Save As. And I named mine just Green Cur. You can see it's unnamed, so you can select it, highlight it. Name it green. <clears throat> save it in your desktop. That's where I save mine. It's easy to find. Okay. And you click OK. <clears throat> then you go over to your control panel. Open your control panel. I've already got mine open. Then come over here and select your mouse. Okay. Double click on your mouse. Then you'll see your pointers tab. Select that. Then you'll see normal select. Now it'll just have the old normal cursor. I've already replaced mine with one green one, so that's why you can see it there. Select it, browse. <clears throat> you want to go to your desktop. You can see the green cursor. Select that. Click open and apply. Okay, I want to do also tutorials in Visual Studio. And while I'm typing text, I want to also show the cursor. So I did the text select. Same thing here, browse, changed it there also. Okay, click apply, and click OK. And that's all there is to it. Let's see? And let's go to Visual Studio and you get an idea it even works there. It's a very nice tool. Let's see, so it's easy to follow. You can text. Okay, so it's a very nice tool. Hope you enjoyed it. See you again.